it's my car boot tribes and I've got good vibes bag filling up nicely now your journey started with good vibes triplicity negotiare hoopla leverage jollification pickled eggs classic dubious dual shock monopomy and now finale how many car boot sales can you do in one day coming up you take any less would you you wouldn't take any less if i had those i'm giving you one free for the deal right. i can't give you one free because i can't two. do a deal for five would you do 65 on your side <laughs> You're going to lose that for sake of a fiver. Strategy. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. If you are embarking on multi-car boot adventures, I recommend that you pre-program your satellite navigation system with all of the locations. This will save you critical time in the mornings and ensure that you get there efficiently. This is 4am and the start of my journey. Pre-planned clothing, check time, suitable coffee mug, almond, full brim. But we're going to need a flask, pre-made power smoothie, coinage, note check, energy, hydrate, hoodie. And what shades? Mm, no. Yeah, bit of Batman. Let's go. A car boot at 5am has a very different feeling to it. They're still setting up and there are many many dealers about. Mm, a nice selection of Lego vehicles. Oh, a massive stash of Sony PlayStation portable games. And the console. I do own one of these consoles, but unfortunately the drive broke so I was unable to play any more games on it. I'm going to have to do a quick calculation here. There is a stack of games, and they want fifty pounds. You wouldn't take any less, would you? No. Not you, mate. No? It's got the, the uh, console's modded. How is it? What in what way? So Wait. you can play the old Nintendo and the old Sega games on it. Oh, right. Okay. There's fifty for everything. Yep. Retro modded music to my ears. Let's have a quick check if it boots up, and it does. I'm in for 50. Always worth topping up on a few Blu-ray box sets. £3 each. You, do, you wouldn't do the two any cheaper, would you? If I do the box sets. For £5 for the two. Yeah. Yeah. Two for a fiver. Bargain. Ah, unfortunately not an original Transformer. Even ice cream today. I bet they'll sell a lot today. Ice cream. Eight pounds is above my monopoly price threshold. No. Time to leave this field. Still hasn't really filled up, but I need to press on. There's many more to do. Not too bad, and a personal best at 17 minutes. How are we doing for time? Absolutely bang on schedule. Next boot, 9.4 miles away. As I take in the morning air, I wonder what further bargains will present themselves. And here we are at boot number two. I seem to be the only person here buying. Cracking. Let's get it done. And first up, we've got Dino Crisis on the PlayStation. Resident Evil with dinosaurs. What's that? Two quid. Two pound. 
Always worth having a quick flick through some standard Wii games. They're very cheap, but I do not want endless amounts of Dance Dance Revolution. I'm too old for that. No, nothing for me. Oh, hang on. Monopoly sore losers. Don't get sad. Get even. Hmm. Interesting. It's within my Monopoly price threshold at £5. But I'm going to do a cheeky offer. You wouldn't do that one any cheaper, would you? Yeah, give it a four. Four? Okay. Not the first place I'd think of for buying Mr. Kipling cakes. What's this? Some crates of Lego. I spot some space bases here and a little Lego spaceman. God, this must be really old. How much is the Lego? Pardon? How much is the Lego? Uh, 15 for the whole lot. 15. That's technical Lego and this is a uh, railway and space mm. yeah. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't take 12, would you? 12? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Look out, I've been compromised. Heavy bags and one-handed. I need to get these back quick. Oh, hang on a minute. I remember these back in the day. Garbage pail kids cards. Wow. I remember days after school buying packs of these and trading them in the school playground. You wouldn't take any less if I had those, would you? Um, not at the moment, no. And does that come with all the... Yes, the book as the, it is. The folder, yeah, yeah. Okay. 15. Anything here? No. Massive plants, not interested. I need to press on. And I still seem to be practically the only buyer here. Wow. Time to press on. The next boot's a bit of a slog. God, this place is absolutely teeming already. There's queues all over the place. Uh, where can I park? Welcome to boot three. Oh, hello. Are you waiting to be open at 9 o'clock or you can run as an early buyer for £5? Pounds? Oh, I guess I'm in for a penny, in for £5. Pounds. What on earth are these things? God, they would scare me if I had those lying about my house. Hmm. Well, with my preferential £5 early access pass to this car boot, I better make this worth my time. I better look at all these games and see if there's anything I need. This is a cracking boot already. It's huge and the sellers are still coming in. Thick and fast. I've never seen anything like it. I've even heard comments that this is just like a bank holiday Monday. I am slightly concerned as to how I'm going to leave this car boot because there doesn't seem a very clear way out. Are those two for a fiver? Yeah? Okay. I used to have a lot of Simpsons comics and graphic novels when I was a small child. Never really got back into it though. Oh, there's a Street Fighter comic there. My friend is obsessed with Street Fighter. I better buy that for him for a pound. He might appreciate that. Hang on a minute. There's still cars piling in. How on earth am I going to get out of here? No, that doesn't look right either. Oh, I'm going to have to ask for some assistance. To get out, do you just literally follow the road and go Are you around? walking out? No, uh, driving. Where's your car? It's way over there. You've parked up? Yeah. And you want to get out? So, if, if go possible. to the main gate, <laughs> yeah. get in your car and let them know that you want the barrier open. 
because you can't get out this way in a car. Oh, anyway. so I go the, the same way I came in? Or get in your car and this bottom gate's open if you want to save all madness up if that I way. If I can drive yeah. all around. Yeah, 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 yeah way, that's there's fine. a way out here as well. Oh, okay. But first, duty calls. And only five miles to boot number four. Where on earth am I? I'm actually at a fun fair. A car boot at a fun fair. This is fantastic. Transformers comics. Not for me, but my good friend who also is obsessed with Street Fighter is equally obsessed with Transformers and he instructed me if I ever see any comics to get them. How much does he want for these? And what is that sign? To the comics. What is it? And how much is that sign? Yeah, I've just got another box with them in, mate. I mean, what's your, what's your feet, mate? There's another box with them, I'll go and get them. £10 each for the comics. God, that seems quite a lot. And £100 for a Mario Kart arcade sign. Hmm, I don't know what to do here. He did say to get them at all costs if I ever see Transformers comics. Mm, there's a few more here, so I might be able to do a bit of a cheeky deal with him. He seems to know his stuff. There are different prices, mate. About 15 quid for the five. No, no, leave them, mate. Right, you're not going to do it. I'm mostly, I get 25 quid for them all day, comic con. Oh, yeah, three for a tenner. That's, so that's 333 each. Yeah, but. Unless I find another one, I can't do it. The deal will be that. So I'm saying, let me just find another one. Oh, for you. right. And okay. do is, it's just a matter of, I know I've got a buy. So how much would you sell five for the Transformers comics for? Right, I can't do, I'm yeah, doing them £10 each year. The deal is I can do three for for 20. So you're getting one free, aren't you, basically? Right, okay. So if you, if you reduce it, then I can't do it. I can only, I can do the three, right? So I'll do you three. Yeah. Not 20 quid. Right. Yeah. And then they'll return you 10. So I'm going to I'm giving you one free for the deal. Right. I can't give you one free because I'm going to do it. You can't two. do a deal for five. Uh, it's 20. Uh, all right, then I'll do instead of it being 15 for them, so it'll be 35. Should you do 30 for the five? I can't because it's, it's not worth it. I can because I know today I'll sell them for ten pound each. Not a problem. I've right. got but someone brought someone brought loads off me and they, and they gave me. They brought I think they brought forty off me and they, and they gave me the ten pound. They're okay. expensive ones. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't. They are yeah, expensive. In all fairness, don't, they are really expensive. And then um, you can get thirty five quid for one of them, so it's not worth it for me. Honestly, I'm doing. I'm reluctant to do that deal. To tell you the truth. So you thirty-five for the five. Yeah, I'll do the. Why do you take Sonic Two Sides? All right, you don't want that. Well, if you throw that in, yeah. No, I'll do that one for the for the five. Yeah. But it's up to you. Thirty-five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty-five for that. That took some doing. Thirty-five pounds for five comics. And now I might be in the market for some Donkey Kong bongos. Mm, the box is a little bit smashed but that might aid me in some negotiation. Where is this person? She wants 18 pounds for them. You wouldn't take 15 for those, would you? Because uh, it is a bit, yeah. yeah. It's just the boxes are damaged on them. So uh, it's just one storage. So it's still sealed. Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah. Okay. Still interested in this Mario sign? He's now said I can have it for £70. Pounds. You should do 65 on your sign. <laughs> You're going to lose that for the sake of a fiver? 
Well, you know some. When I took like, Chester Comic Con, I had two of them, and I yeah. got 125 quid for one of them. All right. Honestly, well, obviously a different kettle of fish going to, to, to Comic Cons and that. Yeah, yeah. I'll do 65. Yeah, I bought all the other comics. You did, you did, you did, you did. I took, I took a few comics. Of this. I see an opening. I don't think I want any more. <laughs> Unless, they, well, if you throw in a, another Transformers comic. I thought you said they were on that. I've just seen one there. Oh, there you go, see? See, that'd be nice. That'll do a deal without that. Done. What? 70 m Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just got to think where to put it now. <laughs> you, want a, you want a nice display thing for it, man. It's a blow you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, I got, can I have a bit of sleep? Oh, no, I'm going to talk about it. Keep it Time for pre-prepared vegan sausage wrap and pot of vegan mayonnaise. I feel like I'm on holiday. There's actually caravans over there and I can hear the gulls. That seemed a lot quicker than I thought. On to the next. And I am feeling super energised. Boot number five. How much is that? Uh, 60 for the console. Is there any games with it or? Unfortunately, this DS was compromised as one of the trigger buttons was glued shut. Very upsetting. Sorry? How much of the DVDs? Which ones? It depends which one. Uh, well, how much of the Marvel box sets? The Marvel box sets, um, you've got phase one which is a fiver, phase two which is eight, phase three which is a ten or all, everything for 20 quid. Not bad, but I want to see my Marvel heroes in super high definition. Time once again to leave this boot and to progress on to boot six. Feeling tired now, but I must press on. There might be more bargains. Ooh, hang on. There's a better bond here. Um, that one's 50p. You always are a pound. Any over there? There's some a pound each. Yeah. Oh, did you say 50p that one? Yeah. How much is that yeah, one? 50p. Okay. What's that over there? This looks suitably terrible. A Go Gamer Portable boasting 200 odd games. It's cheaper than a fiver and he's just knocked it down himself. Let's see in the car situation. Well, wow, this is absolutely bursting to the seams. And how many miles have I done? 163.2 That's a lot of miles in one morning. Wow. And here we are. The finale. And this is all my wares from starting out at 5 in the morning. This took an endless amount of preparation. It was planned for months. I saved my money for months and months as well to do the most car boot sales I could do in a morning. And I achieved it. I have never done six car boots in one morning. And look at the wonderful items I managed to get. There are lots and lots of these Garbage Pell Kids cards. I think I counted 77 separate cards. A real blast from the past, these. I will enjoy going through these, and I might want to display some of them. Really takes me back to my childhood and those rainy days going to the newsagents and purchasing a small packet of these with a stick of gum. PSP with 22 games. And as the chap said, modded for retro gaming. And he wasn't wrong. 
it's got an absolute stack of retro games and systems on here. Loads of fun. Oh, I don't have the game for this, so I better source that. They are a little bit grubby, but they should clean up perfectly. I'm not sure I want to crack open that jigsaw as it's still sealed. And yes, another Monopoly success. This jigsaw apparently lights up. And a huge stack of Lego for £12. Space Lego. There is an absolute bucket load of different pieces here. All from a vintage age. And when I spread them out into my lounge, I noticed even more spacemen. I think I counted up to 17. Loads of stuff. Bargain. And the piece de la resistance. The Mario Kart GP sign. From the arcade itself. Really going to have to think of where to put that though. And Monopoly. The quest for Monopolies has ended. And I have concluded with 12 Monopoly sets. That no one will play with me. Flagging a bit now, so need a little coffee. Yes! I still managed to sneak in a cheeky little fate round the corner from where I live. Nothing of interest though, just a load of tatty books and broken crockery that no one will ever buy. Terrible. But got my second wind and even visited a local lake to contemplate on the fantastic morning that I've had and the bargains that I came across. It's been a really enjoyable morning. Where is he off to? Thank you again for watching Car Boot Tribes. That has been the finale. Time for a cheeky barbecue now. May see you again.